We're talking uh, to an actress, not this actress, not me. to another actress. In fact, you're talking to this actress about a lot of things, but number one thing, rejection, facing rejection. Since you are a professional, big deal actor, have you had any stories of real rejection? Yes. I was getting ready for a big award show. It was exciting. Actually, it was for the SAG Awards, my first time ever being there. I was nominated for working on Dexter Long. It was an ensemble cast, and I'm getting ready for, you know, trying on different dresses. And I was working with someone who was dressing me, and they gave me a call, and they said, you know, hi, so the designer. Um, this was a guy? This was a guy. Oh. He doesn't really want to dress you. Who are we to judge? Yeah, we saw that you photograph on the red carpet kind of wide. <laughs> Wide? And I thought to myself, wide. What? And I was thinking, okay, like I'm five feet and how wide could I be? And so it was a really, really, really hurtful moment because I started becoming very self-conscious about this beauty that God created. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, and, and guy, I was, I was, I was pretty hurt but I mean, but by that, being called yeah. a, why? You photograph, but, but notice how he kind of let you down. Like, it's not you, it's you photograph why. It's kind of like yeah. sort of spinning it back onto the, to the photography is messed up. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Trying to. But, uh, but I know that you're a writer and of course yeah. writers never get rejected because you're I got, so I got amazing. rejected from hosting the show three times until a friend of mine put a horse's head in the producer's bed and I got the show. <laughs> You heard me. That's uh, no, it. actually, the writing, I, you know, I was the editor of my college humor magazine, and I always was uh, writing these short humor pieces that I want to get them published in The New Yorker, like you know, Woody Allen, Steve Martin, uh, Christopher Buckley, Garrison Keillor, all these people, Benchley, Perlman, they were my heroes. And so I would write these pieces and send them to The New Yorker. And I always get these beautiful rejection letters, and they always would say, thank you for thinking of us. And then they would say, but this piece is not for us. So they never said, like, it stinks. They said, it's not for us, because we publish quality. Oh, uh, but it was, it was right. tough. It was, well, at it least was they didn't tough. tell you photograph wide. That's true. You, you they... write wide. <laughs> well, rejection hurts. What are you going to say? Well, we have all faced rejection some point in our lives. Steven Spielberg was rejected from film school three times. Jerry Seinfeld was booed off stage the first time he tried stand-up. And Oprah Winfrey, I'm excited, was told she was unfit for TV when she was 22. Uh, it's a good thing she's no longer 22. Right. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs>